What's up everybody, this is Always back with the next video of Java FX Essential Training Series. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to use CSS with your FXML file. And uh, CSS stands for Cascade Style Sheet. So let's go and create a new project. I'm going to click on File Menu, New Project, select Java FX and Java FXML Application. Click on Next, name your project. So I'm going to type Sample1 finish let me show you the project first this is a default project created by NetBeans for us so I'm gonna run the program alright so in the program we have just click me button which has a label and when I click on click me it actually print out the text on the console as well let me show you what we have in fxml document dot fxml file so here we have two objects button and label and then you can see that we have FX ID for those objects. So button and a label is ID, right? So let me show you how to create a CSS file. You can right click on your package, new, click on Cascade style sheet. Or if you don't see that here, go to others, click on others, and here you will find CSS file, which is here, right? I'm going to click next. And here I'm going to be typing the name of that. So app CSS finish now we have a CSS file but it's not a link to our Java project yet to link that to a Java project you go to your sample one dot Java and when you create a scene node here you need to add that to your scene so type scene which is a scene object dot get style sheet so get style sheet dot add and get class add brackets dot get resources and here you need to type your CSS app, uh, file name so which is app CSS dot CSS goes in the quotation so I'm just gonna add the quotations here and then finish the quotation here let's get out of there and then dot to external form that's it so now you have a link to your CSS file to your Java project let's go back to CSS file now and here I'm just gonna get rid of this code so let's say you want to add a background to your application first of all you need to have an image for that so I'm gonna go to my file browser and I'm gonna copy this purple image copy and then I'm gonna come to my package right click and then click on paste so we have that purple image in our package now I'm gonna add that image to my scene now dot root and then here you add your curly braces and then type dash fx dash background image and then type URL here you need to type the name of the image and if the image is in another folder you need to type the path as well save your file and let's go back to our sample onejava file and run the program the background of the application has been changed to that purple image now we're going to style our button and the label of that button so let's go back to css file i'm going to type some code to style the button all right so this time as you can see that i didn't use a dot button instead i used that hash button right the reason why is hash button that i want to target this object directly so let's say if I have a couple more buttons so I'm just gonna open this fxml file quickly and then we add few more buttons here if you go to code here you can add the ID for that as well so okay all right, so now as you can see that we have two buttons now. We have one button on top, text is tech, uh, click me, and the ID for that is a button, and we have the second button as well, the ID. So if you want to target your specific uh, button, then you need to use that hashtag instead of dot. So let's just save this file, and I'm just going to run the program, right? And let's see, I'm going to show you quickly what is it. So we have two buttons, right? Right now, this button is being changed. So if I click on that, it says hello world. But that button hasn't been changed yet. So for that, what I can do, if I change this to this hash to dot, right? It's going to target every button available in your application. 
and let's save the file let's run the program again and as you can see that we have two buttons alright but we didn't use the ID for that so we use the dot button so dot means that every button will be targeted with this style so that's how you can change your files if you want to change all the buttons with the same text same design right so you can use dot and if you want to target a specific button then you can use that hash all right guys so that was a quick tutorial how to attach css and install your application with css thanks for watching and if you liked the video smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers